he'll live to fight another day. Absolutely. Now, speaking of, uh, of Irishmen and fast Irishmen, Liam Jagu, who does spend a lot of time in Poe, um, but he's so exciting to watch and fantastic to see him with a crack at the uh, potential final here. Yeah, absolutely. He's um, made a few finals now in his, in his time. He can be super fast, very fast and whippy, and can be radical to a bit like that. Bring the nose around. Whoa! Oh, look at that! Oh. Don't worry about that, I know where I'm going. Yeah, just almost not being able to get the nose around to straighten up through that, that, that gate there. Same as the one before. Gee, what, it makes me feel a bit seasick watching you paddle. He's, <laughs> there are bits and pieces going everywhere. Yeah, he needs to settle the boat and just try and just fly down this bottom section now. Yep, yep. So the reviewing gate too, I, it, I thought it looked all right. But the judges have got much better angles than uh, Brody and I have got here. We were just watching with the naked eye, but uh, at this stage, he lost a little bit of time. Yeah. He was fast early, but he's still in touch, just. Yeah, the time he wants to beat. So Luka Bosic is through to the final. The next time, it's uh, Marinic from Croatia, who is a 101.75, is the time for, uh, for Liam to beat. I don't know that it's going to be in that area, but can he get himself into a top 10 position? I don't think so. Unfortunately, he's lost a bit of time, hasn't yeah, he, at the bottom? A few, a few small mistakes at the bottom, just tenth of seconds adding up. Yep. So, no final, I would think, for Liam Jagu. Goes in in ninth, and that's not going to be good enough, I don't think.